What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video I'm going to show you one of the easiest and simplest ways that you can self-host your own N8N scenario for 100% free. You don't need to know how to code, you don't need to have any experience, it's going to be literally copy and paste. We're also going to be doing this all within Coolify, so if you're not familiar with Coolify, we'll dive into that as well as N8N. Let's dive right into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with N8N or you are, we'll quickly just go over what it actually is. Probably heard of Zapier. You probably heard of Make.com. Um, basically, N8N is an alternative and it allows you a lot more freedom than those two apps. It's uh, honestly, I've been using it for a little bit now, building out different workflows and scenarios. And I'd have to say it is probably my favorite, right? I really do love make.com still, um, you know, just because I've used it a lot. But N8N is really just, it's really hard to compete with N8N because one, there's more freedom. You can do more stuff. There is, I say, a bit more of a learning curve. And two, it's also open source. So if I go to the GitHub right here, and sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. I just did a bit of a workout, but we're still recording here grinding through the day hope everyone's having a good day here but anyways all right so as the github loaded here you can actually see it is open source with the source code here you can go ahead and look at it etc but we're gonna go back here um n8n if we go to self-host in the docs and i've done videos on self-hosting n8n before using these docs right here and it is still very simple but you know maybe if one you may want to do it the way i'm about to show you in this video just because it can, can make things a lot easier. And two, um, I guess it could be a li little bit more of a challenge doing it this way, um, especially if you don't have experience with this stuff. You know, starting N8N, installing Docker, using N8N with Postgres if needed, and all that good stuff. But you can do it that way, following the docs. And I'll leave the docs in the description down below anyways. But this way is actually a lot easier in terms of you really don't have to do anything except run one line in the command line. All right. So this one line is to install something called Coolify. And I've done a few videos recently on Coolify. It's self-hosting with superpowers and open source self-hosted alter alternative to, to Heroku, Net Netlify, Vercel, etc. So it has all these different features. Essentially, you can spin up different um, containers or different, you know, um, uh, you know, different apps, really, really easy, just essentially with one click, you know, there is a couple bugs like I covered in my other video on super base yesterday. Um, there was one bug we actually had to do a manual fix fix for, you know, it is a newer app. There's a lot of new versions coming out, but it's pretty good. It's, it's actually very good. Um, to be honest, especially if you're, you know, you don't want to be so technical with setting up different apps and servers and this and that this is a really good option all right and to install it is actually super super simple all you do is you go click on um self-host and you s literally just run this line of code so you run this line of code if you don't know how to run a line of code you just open your windows terminal now uh ideally you're gonna want a vps i personally use contabo all right, just because they get the best, you get the best bang for your buck. All right, at least from what I found, but you can literally use any VPS. It really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, just get a VPS. Then once you log into your VPS, you SSH, SSH root into your VPS. You run this command to run Coolify. Once you literally run that command, it's going to say, hey, we installed Coolify. This is what Coolify is going to look like. Something like this, all right? I'm not going to dive through everything of Coolify. I've done a video on that. Um, and I'm going to do more videos on Coolify. But essentially, to give you a quick overview, we got projects. So this is like where we'll be building out the NAN. But uh, we got projects, servers, sources. So servers, I can connect other VPS servers or virtual, uh, any server really, to this Coolify, right? I could go here. We'll have our local host one here, but you can connect anyone. 
All right, to change your domain, you just go into settings and you can change your domain here from, uh, once you actually set it up. Um, and then there's other stuff too, like S3 storage, shared variables, keys, tokens, tags, command center, whatever you, you know, a lot of stuff, right? But, and it's a really nice app. It's really cool. We're going to use projects. So go into products, projects. We're going to create a new project. Let's we'll call this N8N. Okay. Now, once you go into your project, there's going to be an automatic production variable there. We can just use this one, but if you wanted to set up different variables or environments, you could do so. Now we're going to add a new resource. All right. Once we do that, you're going to see there's a lot of different options. All right. There's actual um, options up here where you can use Git based, uh, Docker based, and databases up here. We're going to be looking in services. All right. So we're going to scroll down through services. And very simple, we're just going to find N, so N8N. Now, there's really two options. You could do N8N with Postgres, SQL, or N8N. We're just going to do N8N for this, uh, for this, you know, specific case. I, I, I believe I probably do N8N, um, just this one, because I think if I go here, uh, I don't necessarily know using alternative databases by default. This is executions also supports. So I guess it really doesn't matter. You're either going to be using SQL Lite uh, automatically, or you could use Postgres. Um, I really don't know if there's much difference um, in terms of. Let me just check. Is there any difference between using NAN with SQLite or Postgres. Okay, I'm just searching with perplexity here on the fly, so we'll, we can see what it says. Let's just see here. Using an ADM with uh, involves several key differences. So SQLite is a default option, ease of use. Limitation SQLite is not recommended for production use due to potential issues with data integrity and performance under heavy load. It also stores workflows with NADN within the Docker image, increasing the risk of accidental data loss if volumes are not mapped correctly. Per preferred for production, Postgres is recommended for production environments due to its robustness, scalability, and handling of uh, concur uh, concur concurrent operations. Data integrity and performance um, and migration, migrating from SQL to Postgres can see uh, involves exporting workflows and credentials using the N8N CLI and importing them into Postgres. This process can sometimes encounter issues such as field imports or data in decryption problems, but these can often be resolved by proper configuration and support. Setting up Postgres requires more. In Okay, so maybe we'll just try Postgres. All right, so I guess it is uh, technically better for production use. So you could do normal, but we'll go back here. And I'm just going to do a new resource. And we'll just scroll down to Postgres. Here we go. I don't even know if there's going to be any more configuration no there isn't it literally already has it all configured here so essentially you should just be able to deploy out of box and if everything goes well if we don't encounter any bugs or issues we're going to start pulling the docker containers and files and let's just see here as it's extracting okay pull complete creating container Starting Postgres. Let's hope this works. Really don't want to troubleshoot any bugs. And I think it should work. Yep. Because then it ends fairly simple of, you know, a setup. It's very simple, actually. So if I just refresh here, just to double check. And we are running. Good to go. Everything's good to go. So I can just go up here to links. And I'm going to obviously remove this uh, whole entire resource afterwards. Let's just go here. Oh, okay. So actually, what I would need to do 
basically it just says your internet and server is configured to use a secure cookie etc so i actually just have to change the domain which you can do by just going here and i believe i have i should actually have nadn2 i think executive stride.com let's double check i mean i don't i'm pretty sure i have this set up in my cloudflare uh advance continue okay not found let me just check my cloudflare here and i'm just going to need to point a dns an a record actually towards oh no i actually did have it right but once you save the um domain you actually have to pull latest images and restart so we'll just do that i was wondering why it wasn't working so now we're just restarting pulling creating and it should be good to go once okay started i think we're good let's just refresh there we go boom so yeah if you do encounter and you know where you have to switch out the domain just um yeah just ch change it and then you're gonna have to restart everything there we go so without ado we have our nan instance loaded up just select whatever here and there we go we have a fully functioning self-hosted n8n scenario loaded up on our server right and beauty with coolify is not only, like i mean it's very easy to i could host something else on this server right i could host um super base right i could host um uh, literally as much as i want within of, of course the vps you know uh you know depending on the resources i have on my vps now also too um one thing to note is if you're going to be hosting really anything with on coolify the minimum requirement i believe that coolify takes is two gigabytes of ram so say if you have like eight gigabytes then you have but have about six gig uh gigabytes of ram left for other apps that you want to host or other services etc right so keep that in mind anytime you're using uh coolify and you're hosting it on the same server if you run out of server space you can always connect another server okay but this is a really really easy and efficient way where you can host um n8n on your own server it's super super easy it's easier and like especially too if you're doing it on postgres because as you can see here if you're doing the normal installation with um, nan and postgres you have to provide the uh, corresponding so you have to do a bit extra as you can see here postgres port uh, user uh, potentially sending the time zone all this stuff um so yeah it requires a bit more running commands it's, it's it's still fairly simple especially if you have experience but this just makes it a lot easier a lot easier to manage and uh yeah i hope you got some value out of this video i really am enjoying coolify it's a really great um open source app i would de definitely ch uh, suggest checking it out if you are if you are new to this channel and you did get some value on it we upload videos every single day on open source apps ai ai automation n8n scenarios uh, make.com uh, you name it we cover it business growth marketing sales etc so that sounds like you if you're an ai enthusiast entrepreneur tech person marketer you know business owner whatever the case may be make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the daily videos got some really good stuff on the way planned for you guys so make sure to stay tuned also too guys if you're new here and you haven't already joined our free stride commu community we have a facebook group and discord channel with about 750 to 800 members already in it with like-minded individuals like yourself like you know where you can network with them as well as myself so make sure to join that link is in the description free stride community also too guys if you haven't already checked out my book client acquisition code if you run a business you're definitely going to want to check this out if you need leads and then also too guys if you have leads and you need help building out systems and or if you need leads or if you already have them and need help building out systems automations or even building out ai bots and ai 
um, literally AI appointment setters or AI cold callers in your business to book leads or close leads, not close them, but close them on the appointment automatically. Book a call with me and my team at executivestride.com forward slash apply, and we can see if we can help you guys out in your business. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.